G'day and welcome to MW Laser, my name's Matthew. Now over the past year in my business, MW Laser, I've been busy providing on-site laser service and support for laser users across the country. Over this time, I've also been working on developing our own series of laser machines and choosing the right manufacturer. And we've partnered with Ray from RM Laser. Now Ray and his team manufacture high quality laser machines and provide excellent customer service and support. So in today's video, I want to show you the smallest of our desktop units or our CO2 units, the MWJ630. Now this machine has a cutting area of 600 by 300 millimeters. It's a great machine for the hobbyist, the maker space, or even the classroom. Now the cutting area of this machine makes it a good size to fit on a workbench and the overall dimensions are around 1100 by 750 millimeters and 600 millimeters tall. We also have an optional machine trolley making it portable and easy to maneuver in the workshop for storage and maintenance. Now the J630 uh, is a 50 watt CO2 laser. It's a very well designed machine that makes for a compact yet powerful producing laser. With its precise cutting and user friendly interface it exceeds expectations. Now this machine uses a Ruida RDC6442 controller. The machine's excellent accuracy and sturdy build ensure professional looking results at a hobby level price. We have a blade table as well as an optional uh, honeycomb bed that can be placed over the top of the blade table. Now this uh, table is the Z axis and that can be lowered or uh, raised using the control panel it's simply by a, a few key presses and that allows you to get the material underneath the laser head and in focus. Now a very common size for material that you can purchase such as acrylic is uh, 600 by 300 millimeters and you can see here we have that size there and uh, we'll be able to cut that whole piece. Now another good feature of this machine is the lid mounted USB camera here with the lid closed and using Lightburn software connected via a USB cable we can then see what's in the machine. We can update uh, the overlay or our work area so we can see what's there. And if we had this oval that we wanted to cut out, we could position that on the uh, work bed on that piece of material and have that machine cut it out. As we mentioned, this is a 50 watt CO2 glass uh, tube. So we're using water cooling. In this machine, we're using a CW3000 water cooler. But if you want the refrigerated cooler, the CW5200, that is an available upgrade. One of the options that we have for our exhaust is the fume filtration unit. So this little uh, air purifier here has uh, several stages of filtration. So it has uh, pre-filters, a HEPA filter, and a carbon filter. And they're easily changed just by opening up the lid and uh, replacing those as required. Some of the other features we have are the red dots. We can turn that on and off using this button here. We have engraving air pressure so that we can uh, reduce the amount of air while it's engraving. And uh, we have the USB disk or USB drive uh, port. So if you save files to a USB drive, you can access those through there. The USB for the camera, as well as on the rear, we have a USB connection and a network connection. Now this machine can also have material pass through, so opening this front door and also the back door will en enable you to be able to pass material through the machine uh, to either trim it or work on it. I'm going to show you a quick engraving and cut test. Now this machine has high speed engraving capabilities of up over 900 millimeters a second and we'll be cutting through this three millimeter ply at uh, 20 millimeters per second. Now I do uh, always recommend that you use the machine with the doors closed but for videoing I have them open so for safety always have your doors closed uh, wherever possible. So we're engraving this at 900 millimeters per second and the uh, engraving, once it's finished, will cut out three millimeter ply at 20 millimeters per second. Now this is real time and not sped up. So uh, that gives you an idea on what its capabilities are. And uh, our fume extraction is not gonna be fantastic with the doors open, but uh, we'll cut that out and I'll give you a look at the result. So 
So that's our J630 CO2 laser cutting machine. Now one of the features that I haven't uh, highlighted was that this is capable of also using a rotary attachment. Now the Z-axis will lower down low enough to put in a uh, roller rotary attachment that will plug on inside the machine here so you can do your bottles and your mugs and things like that. If you uh, want any more information on the uh, machine you can always visit our website mwlaser.com.au and uh, hope to introduce you to other machines in our range. We have the J750 which is a 700 by 500 millimeter cutting area and a 90 watt uh, recce tube. Uh, we have the uh, R960 a 900 by 600 CO2 laser machine also with a, uh, a recce W2 laser tube. The largest machine we're currently doing is the uh, R1390. Now that's 1300, uh, 1300 by 900 millimeter cutting area and has a 120 uh, watt recce laser tube. For more information on any of these, always just visit the website or uh, contact us at sales at mwlaser.com.au. And until next time, take care. Cheers.